When shooting traditional archery, I've encountered two problems that keep reoccurring. One is the wrist slap, and the second one is I slap my cheek with a tab. Today we're going to deal with those two problems and talk about the symptom and no, and not talk about the symptom, but talk about the problem. first bow a long time ago at my parents house and it took like three or four bows to make before I got one that was workable and could shoot and I was extremely excited one second I was extremely excited to show my dad I, you know as a child I wanted him to be proud of me and so I had him come out and I wanted him to shoot the bow and he was like, okay, yeah, you know, I'll shoot the bow. And so I think he was barehanded shooting the bow and he drew back and shot and slap the string whacked his wrist. And he like tried to shake it off, you know, and he shot again and whacked his wrist. And after three or four shots, he's like, you know, I think that's enough. And his wrist turned like purple and there was a huge lump there. And I still kind of feel bad about that today because it was my fault and not actually his. The reason being, my brace height was too shallow. Problem number one with wrist lap is brace height being too short. What happens often when a beginner starts to shoot archery, they may get this wrist lap and then it makes them not wanna shoot. So they think they need to get an arm guard immediately when often that's not the case. Lots of times your brace height might just be too short. The question is how do you change your brace height? And actually it's very simple. All you've got to do is twist your string a couple twists and it'll make your brace height taller. Because what's happening when you twist the string up tighter, the string's getting shorter because it's a tighter twist. Uh, it's fairly simple and I tend to fail on the side of not having a large enough brace height with all of my self bows. Now if you have a bow that you bought from somewhere, there's going to be a recommended brace height and normally it's a fairly high range. Like six and a half to eight and a half inch brace height, it'll be recommended in the specs. And so you want to try those different brace heights and find the one that works best for you. What happens is you may have your brace height at six and a half inches and that's slapping your arm. So move it up closer to the eight, eight and a half inches and that may solve your problem of wrist slap. The second reason we slap our arm when we shoot a bow is because we grip the bow tightly. And when you grip the bow tightly, it brings your arm in closer to the string. And with a lot of people, it'll slap your wrist. But if you grip it right in the palm of your hand and don't wrap your fingers around the bow and just gently lay them down, it brings your arm out away from the bow string. And this is the main reason that anybody would slap their wrist when shooting a bow. So if you're slapping your wrist when you shoot your bow, deal with the problem, not the symptom, because the problem is normally your form, or if it's not your form, your brace height might be too low. So I've shot a glove my entire archery life. That's what I started with. My grandpa had a couple gloves that he let me use, and I started with those, and I kept continued to use those for a long time until I lost the gloves. I left them at the previous house that we lived at and I was never able to get them back. So I needed to get a new glove or something and Garrett at that point was starting to make these awesome archery tabs and so he said he'd make me a quiver and a tab and I would make him a bow and we made this deal. As you guys know how that turned out not so good so just let's keep that on the DL. Anyway, um, so Garrett gave me this tab and so I started shooting with this tab and as I shot, I kept slapping my face and I had no clue why I was slapping my face. And it was annoying me because I was just like, man, I really do not like to shoot with the tab because with the glove, it felt smooth. My face, I wasn't slapping it. And you know, I mean, the less pain when you shoot, the better and more enjoyable your experience is gonna be. And I had the tab all the way to the tip of my fingers because I didn't want the string to slap off on my the tips of my fingers when I released. But I decided to try to change it up and try to figure out what was happening. So I moved the tab back as far as I could in my hand and left all my fingertips exposed. 
When I grip the bowstring, I grip it really deep though, and so I was hoping maybe it wouldn't hit my fingertips, and it did not hit my fingertips, and I didn't slap my face with the tab. So if you're slapping your face with the tab, maybe try moving that tab back in your hand and shoot it that way, and it will not slap your face. That's my experience. If you guys have any ideas why else I was slapping my face, let me know. But that's my experience while I was slapping my face. Ooh, that's a good shot. Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. My name is Kramer Ammons. If you are new here, I make bows. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these bows, bring them into the field and take them hunting and see if we can be successful with traditional equipment we make ourselves. I hope this tip video was beneficial to you. If you're slapping your face or slapping your wrist, let me know any more tips you have because I still fall into these problems every once in a while and you can help anybody else in the comments. Thank you everybody who have subscribed and if you haven't yet, it's up to you. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> Think the split vision. There's something in the woods. Another cause of wrist slap is your form. Grip the bow tight, slap your arm hard. <laughs> At my parents' house. And when I had finished it, I was super excited to show my dad. Please. <laughs> I was gonna trade my bow for that, as you guys know, and well, you know, I. Seventy-nine yard shot through the woods. Oh goodness! Ha! <laughs> Bullseye.